Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Happy Sunday evening. How the heck is everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Hi, Sam Solo. You're in here already, Papa? Come here. What's wrong? Come here. Come here, Papa. Literally, the moment I go, I go live, Sam Solo comes in the room. Hey everybody, it's your boy Epic Vision, and we're getting ready to do what we do best, and that's bringing you another edition of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. You okay, buddy? You okay? I didn't mean to bump you. Are you okay? No. It was my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not mean. <laughs> oh, my little love, Papa. Hey, did you get to play outside today? Yeah. You told me that already? Yeah. Did you get to play with your chalk? No? No? Come stand over here. Come stand over here so that people can see you. You got to play with your car finally outside your Jeep? Yeah? Look at this handsome boy, huh? You got, you got your magical keys right there? Yeah? Do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi, people! Say hi, people! Ah, <laughs> oh, what's going on, everybody? What is going on? I hope you've had a good weekend. Weekend's coming to a close right now, right? Sunday night. You can't put my headphones on. No, I'm sorry. No, they only they're 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 perfectly fit to my head only. You have your own headphones, okay? Hey, can you go upstairs now or go in the other room, please? Please, I'm gonna play. Yeah, I'm gonna play. <laughs> hey, Sunday night, you know what it's all about, right? Getting ready for school and work the next day. Everyone's got to get into their bedtime routines, which yours should be going on right now. Did you? Hey, did you pick out your did you pick out your pajamas and everything for mom? Go pick out some ones of shorts, okay? So it's warm. You're not gonna put it on, no. I'm not letting you put it on. Okay? Alright, his mom's calling him now. Now he's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> hey, what do we got here? This is our Unified Cloud Gateway. Our Unified Cloud Gateway. It's kinda hard to read. The Cloud Gateway Ultra. Your boy's gonna upgrade his network. This is the first component of it. I've been trying to figure out which switch I wanna buy. And the reason it's hard is because network switches have something called PoE, power over ethernet. And that power over ethernet is what can power external devices such as wireless access points, cameras, and other things. So, and each one of those things takes a certain amount of wattage and there's a power budget associated to each switch. Well, as you add more PoE ports and more power, the price starts going up exponentially. So. Trying to buy what you need right the first time can save you money in the long run. But if you overbuy, will you regret it? I don't know. So i am been tormenting my brain over like a few hundred dollars here or there. I probably should just pull the trigger. But I don't know exactly what I want yet. But this, these guys are hard to get. This will run the Unify Network. Okay, this will just run Network. It won't run Protect or Connect or anything like that. But just to manage the Network. And it has some uh, pretty cool features. So... Your boy's gonna start dabbling in the in the ubiquity unify world. But hey, enough of all that. You guys ain't here for networking. We're here for this. World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. And you know what I noticed? This camera. It's a little low. It's a little low, so I'm not gonna sit tall. There we go, that's better. That's better. Hmm. I watched the the playback from last night. And uh Yeah, Friday night Friday night Lord's Druid um didn't make it, man. Died at level forty two, climbing the altar of Zool. That full highlight is out there. I have not broken it down in the clips yet, but the full highlight's out there. The stream from yesterday is out there. Hey, we dinged up to 47. Your boy's almost level 50. Can you believe it? Almost level 50. And uh, we'll see if we can't maybe hit 48 tonight. Oh, what else happened cool yesterday? We got a world buff just literally out of nowhere. Yeah, we got a world buff out of nowhere. And um, I had said, if you watched the full stream back, when I left Stormwind, it's like, we could fly north to the wetlands or we could fly south to booty bay i normally always fly north but i flew south and sure enough we're in booty bay and all of a sudden boom we get the nova nova world alerts that a buff was dropping yeah no announcement or anything so we got buffed we got world buffed yesterday yeah that was super cool so let's do this i actually made clips about that but i don't know if i actually if i uh i made them they're probably out on twitch but i don't think i um posted them from youtube yet Okay, it looks like there's something going on here. It looks like something's going on here. It looks like people just got the... 
people just got the Spirit of Zandalar. Wow, I missed that. So our world buff, the world buff's dropping right now? Are we waiting for the Anixia buff? Is that what's about to happen? It's got to happen, right, with everybody standing here? Yeah. Where does Andalar? They're booned. They're booned. They're booned. Hey, well, let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, let's open this um, Red Bull. First, you have to download more RAM. What is the chat saying here? And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We log in again. <clears throat> I was just saying, the randomness of the buff yesterday, right? We log in here and we're going to get Anixia. Man, if I would have been logged in like 15 minutes ago, we probably could have got the rallying cry too. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, the rallying cry of the Dragon Slayer. I can't believe it. What luck do we have? Okay, so we need to get out to Feralis. We need to get out to Feralis. Um, hardcore delete. Why am I running? Why am I running on my two feet when I could be on my horse? Why do we do this? Wow, this is really nice. This is really nice. What can I do for you? We'll go down to Booty Bay. So what do we do today mostly? I mostly held my baby who's sick again. Yeah, my, uh, my 18 month old. Maybe it's technically 19 months. I think it's 19 months. He, uh, he has croup again, that real, it literally sounds like a barking cough. So we'll call the doctor today. We have the medicine for it, the prednisone. She just wasn't sure how much to give him because it's gotten bigger since the last time. So, but man, he was, he slept on me all day, all day I held that baby, and uh, it was good, it's not something I can do on the, during the work week. Help you do what? What do you mean the little fire truck? You want more Mega Blocks? You just want one Mega Blocks? Alright, we're gonna go Alt Z, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll go. We'll go no camera, so you can have a Azeroth viewing flying experience. I'm gonna get some Mega Blocks for this kid here. So, you want one whole container of Mega Blocks, or literally just one Mega Block? So, you want this bag? Take the bag. Is that good? You don't need anything else? You just need one mega block? You don't want to just take that whole bag? Huh? You don't want to take the whole all the mega blocks upstairs? Okay. Well, put them put them back together then. <clears throat> he needs one single mega block. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Hey, super warm here today. Super warm. I, I was telling you guys yesterday, it got up to, uh, well, it says it got up to 74. It's back down into the 50s. But man, it was, we had all the doors and windows open upstairs to keep the house cool. But you know what that lets in, right? All the allergens. Tomorrow, 66, and then down to 54. Then 63, and then down into the 50s, so. It's gonna be all right. Do, 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 do. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Anybody do anything fun this weekend? I'll tell you what. We accomplished very little of what we wanted to get done this weekend. Mm -hmm. We had pretty lofty goals.
but thanks to my wife and my daughter, the two first floor bathrooms got clean, top to bottom. Sink, tub, toilet, shower, all of it. <clears throat> Sparkling in there right now. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Appreciate that big time, man. What is it, uh, Origi? Or a Yugi? Or a Yugi? Yeah, you wanted to clean the rest of the house today. That didn't happen. What's going on, JR? Welcome to the chat, baby. Welcome to the chat. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get my big old dome back in this. Do a little bit of Alt-Z action. Got the taxes done yesterday. That was a big deal. Hey, remember I was saying I was out of paper to print? I only had two sheets of paper left in the printer. I found paper today. So that was good. That was good. And our kids got to play outside a little bit, which was nice. Enjoy the weather. The neighbors on both sides of the house are out doing stuff. People on one side are retired. The people on the other side got to be close to being retired. So, you know, they're setting up all their outdoor furniture. My wife's out there with just a regular chair. She was telling me. I told him, I said, hey, man, we're not there yet. You know, they got 20, 25 years on us. We got small kids. All their kids are grown. They got they got time to be cutting their grass already when it doesn't really need it, <laughs> you know. But good for them, right? Keeping it looking nice, looking looking fresh and clean. Dun, 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 dun. I can't believe it's after eight o'clock my time already. I really can't. Hey, you guys want to know something else that's cool that happened today? Hmm. You know Bluey? The television show? It's on Disney Plus. It comes out of Australia. And it's usually playing in my house 24-7 on at least one of the TVs or tablets or phones or some sort of media consumption device that shows on. Hmm. My kids love it. It started with my daughter, right? Then the four-year-old, the one-year-old loves it. The wife watches it. Now I'm, I'll sit down and start watching it. You know, I'll probably... I've probably heard chunks of every episode dozens of times, but there hasn't really been too many episodes where I've ever just sat down, watched it start to finish. And when I have, man, they're always heartfelt to get you right in the get you right in the throat, right? Tear tear you up, get you in the heart, man. I don't know how they do it every time. But today, one of their longest episodes ever dropped. It was 28 minutes long. It was on Disney Plus. My daughter was so hype about it. And uh, Sam Solo woke up. I was like, Dad, can we watch? I'm like, Yeah, go ahead, put it on. So we watch it. And my goodness gracious, man, I was crying. My wife was crying. It was so good. I actually put an X post out there about it. I tweeted about it. And um, I did at Bluey Show TV or whatever their at is for X. And they ended up liking my post. I couldn't believe it. So that, that felt really good. That felt really good. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's a good show, man. It's a good show. You want to get all up in the feels? Yeah, it's good. Very, very heartfelt. And the lessons that they teach, or the topics that they tackle in such a, in such a unique way, it was really good. So, shout out to Bluey, man. They're doing their thing. Not little kids, man. We're watching kids cartoons, and sometimes they're literally perfect. They really are, and this is one of them. It's just, it's so wholesome. Uh, as we're about to go, we're about to go smash some water elementals in the face with these mace, with this enchanted mace, right? <laughs> you finished Fallout today? They did such a dang good job with that show. That's awesome, man. How many episodes are there of it? I'm gonna check it out. I've been seeing lots of lots of stuff about it. That show that I was watching, Wheel of Time, on uh, on Amazon Prime. I think I got like an episode or two left. So there's eight. All right. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna fly over to um, we're gonna fly over to Paralis. Talk to me. Talk to me. Seven minutes, man. Ridiculous. <clears throat> What's going on, Syntax? Welcome to the chat, baby. 
Welcome to the chat. Yeah, man, back to the grind tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the office. Thursday, I think I work from home in the morning. And the one year old, uh, Gin Gin, or 19 months, I should say, gets to go back to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Another checkup from when he got his tubes put in. So, we'll be taking a half a day for that. And I also think Milton's going to the vet Thursday for them to um, to draw blood for his heartworm medicine. It's such a racket, right? It's a racket. I don't know if I've pontificated enough about it on stream or maybe I've just done it with my coworkers. But I give my dog this pill every month, right? It's for heartworm prevention and repels ticks and fleas, okay? It's like $30 a month for this pill. And just like humans, the doctors want to see you once a year and do your blood work to make sure that, you know, they can prescribe you or charge you more money in order to prescribe you the same medicine you've already been taking. So they want us, <clears throat> they want to do blood work on Milton to make sure he doesn't have heartworms. Well, how, can, how the heck can he have heartworms if he's been taking heartworm medicine literally every month since he's been alive, right? I don't know. To me, it's a racket. <clears throat> and, uh... Last time, he wasn't having it, so they want us to give him a couple of pills to make him more docile when we take him in. Because if he's with me, he'll sit there and chill. But when he goes back with the vets, man, he ain't having it. So they didn't want to take, they didn't want to draw his blood last time for his, during his annual checkup. So now we got to give him two different pills, which he's never taken, to have him be calmer so they can draw his blood. I don't know. It's I'm almost at the point where it's like, is it even worth doing it? I want the best for him, you know, I want him to have the longest life possible, obviously, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, actually what I ended up trying to do is I tried to refill his... I tried to order more of them. Because they had some quote-unquote deal going on. They're like, oh, the vet wouldn't... The, the vet wouldn't um, authorize the prescription to go through. that's another part of it too right they want you to buy them from them which it's not that much more but I won't give them the satisfaction <laughs> I used to do it but they now order them <clears throat> uh, I don't know the hoops we jump through for certain things right yeah well I hope everyone's had a good weekend man I hope I hope you got to do at least something enjoyable like I said, I held my baby all day today, and um, I should really say all afternoon. The wife took the kids to Starbucks. I got a triple grande cappuccino during this afternoon. The big boss called me, so I had to call him back. It's just, uh, you know, never ending. I wanted to be on early, I wanted to be on mid morning, I wanted to be on late morning. What do we have for dinner? We had the leftover Theo's pizza from the other night. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I did a totally different pizza this time. Totally different. I did a thin crust, which I like the best. And uh, my daughter, she always goes like pan style, like regular, like hand toss crust. And they do a seasoned crust. And she'll do pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. And then Sam Solo normally does thin crust, double pepperoni, sausage. But this time he wanted seasoned crust also. So we got double pepperoni sausage. Um, the missus, she does it Hawaiian style. She likes the Hawaiian pizza. She'll really eat any kind, but she went Hawaiian style this time with the banana peppers. Gideon gets a cheese pizza. I went ground beef, um, green peppers, and onion on a thin crust. Just something totally different. And it was good. It was really good. And it heats up so nice. So we had pizza. We had like a brunch. This is Epic Vision. She made uh, she made the shredded hash browns in the in that massive cast iron skillet. That was really good. She made uh, French toast, and then we had uh, eggs, and then she she actually did spam. She did one can of spam, and if you've never had spam, 
um, on like a flat top skillet. It's like a cross between bacon and ham, really. And um, she cuts it really thin. It's 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 pretty good. Not like what you think it would be. It's really it's really pretty good. So something different. I'm tired though. But hey, we're just gonna we're gonna do that same grind we we're doing yesterday. We're gonna finish up. We need two more water elem water elemental cores. We're still zapping. Oh, I wonder if my zapper is my zapper still good? It says duration two hours, so it's still good. Discarded knife. Like last night I thought about okay let's just let's just log out in the in the inn over here, right? Because we would have saved a lot of time. But hey, we got world buffed. We got world buffed, so how about that, huh? We'll take that. And this world buff is increases critical chance of spells by ten percent, melee and range by five percent, and grants a hundred and forty attack power. Well, hundred and forty attack power if you look is quite a bit of attack power. Yeah, it's a good chunk, man. What was that twenty five percent roughly? So, hey, the Bucks lost. They slipped into the third seed. The Milwaukee Bucks, the NBA team that I follow, they went down into the third seed. Sounds like it was a strategic move. I don't know. We got to play the Indiana Pacers in the first round, who have straight owned us all year. And we had that, what, that early midseason tournament thing. They owned us in that, too. Like, we'll see, man. We'll see how hurt Giannis is. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. All right, here we go. Feather, Moon, Stronghold. I think we got a questy boy to turn in here because we did find the we did find the courier. Now the other courier ones that we got to do are a little tougher. Oh, this guy just got pillaged. Z tank just got pillaged on Defy's pillager. Yeah, happens happens to the best of us. So this lady down here can sense of what happened on the knife when the died or oh it's over here. You know what I contemplated doing was just sitting on the couch and going to sleep. <laughs> like, nah, I'm gonna play, man. I'm gonna play. We gotta, we gotta, we get an hour or so in under our belts. You get closer to 48, man. It's worth it. It's worth it. Hey, what's happening? Greetings. Greetings. Tell me, tell me what this magical. He's gonna focus his energies onto the knife, and by doing so, I should catch some of the stronger psychic impressions associated with it. Okay, Mr. Uh, Jones Spry. You've seen enough. It's so very draining. Yeah, gonna be okay. Oh, he shook it off just like that. He shook it off. Ishnu al dal the end. Okay. All right, let's go in peace. What is she doing up here? Are you guys, uh... Oh no, level 52 just died. Works. Oof. Oof. The light of the moon. <clears throat> Ishnu Del Diab. Ishnu Del Diab. 
the La Sha. All right, let's do this. So we still got this Naga dude to kill down in here, but we ain't doing that. We're gonna go back to the coast over here. Hmm. Then we got Yetis to kill. We got Shaman to kill. Shaman and Warlocks and Brutes. Oh my. Got anything to vendor? Alun Adore. Alun Adore. Go in peace. Oh, there's the boat. There's the boat. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Your boy timed that to the millisecond. Oh, looks like we're gonna make it, huh? Are we gonna make it? Yeah, we made it. We made it. Jeez. <laughs> Arsene wanna jump? While we're, while we're here, let's go ahead and buff up. We're gonna buff uh, you up. Uh, tender wolf steak. What's going on in 8D? Good evening, good evening, man. Welcome to the chat, baby. Hope your Sunday's been great. I hope your weekend's been really good. Here we go, Monday, huh? Okay, we logged in in Stormwind, and we got the Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer buff. Totally random. <clears throat> but we'll take it. I could just jump off right here. Oh, I forgot, homeboy over here is a vendor, too. This guy down here, he's a vendor. Mr. Goblin, dude. There's a second guy with tank in his name that died in Westfall. I busted the kings. We got our food buff. We got our weapon buff. Mm, oh, he ain't gonna sell us anything until we uh, give him what he wants. I'll try it. It's okay. We're gonna give him what he needs. Alright, so the 49s we kind of want to stay away from, right? That's what we determined. <laughs> I mean, we'll do them if we have to, but where's my shrinking dealio? Oh, it's right here. Need a name for the quad pack of Night Elves, Charlie's Angels or something? That's a good thought. That's a good thought. With a little quad. Man, another guy just got killed by a pillager. I hope we can all get together and play again. I do, man. I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be at some point just going to be two of us or three of us, maybe. <laughs> like, I messaged Lore yesterday, right? And uh guess the server name is fitting. Well, the reason that they named it that is because the Defy's pillagers are so deadly. Yeah, so many people have died from getting pillaged. Like, I don't know. I think I've shown you guys this before, right? If you look at the, if you look at the death log. We've got creature statistics. Defies pillagers. Trappers have actually overcame pillagers. But, I mean, they're high on the list. Nothing. Whole lot of zip, zero, zilch, nada. <clears throat> and that's how come the West Coast server is named Skull Rock. Because in Skull Rock are the Void Walker minions. So people die mostly in Skull Rock, from Voidwalker minions, and then to Defy's pillagers. But trappers have overcome them. Yeah, falling. Yeah, man, falling is the worst. Falling and drowning. Horde. Bunch of noobs. The horde falling off of uh, dying in Undercity and off of Thunder Bluff. And hey, I got killed to the Undercity boss. Yeah, the Undercity elevator boss. It got me. It got Syntax. It got Syntax. Now, mine, in both of our situations, where weird leggy things happened. My clip's out there, you can see it. But yeah.
It's real. That guy's a 49. Didn't I say we were supposed to stay away from the 49s? <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention, just went at him. Oh, I wonder how many of these elixirs of water breathing I've actually used instead of... Instead of this enchanted water. <laughs> I wonder how many I've used. I had more than one. I had more than one. <laughs> Wonder how many times I've done that. <clears throat> YouTube told me happy birthday to my channel. It's my channel's birthday month. I've been, been live on the YouTube for one year. I thought my first one was like on the 14th, on the 23rd or 24th. My card's 49. <laughs> Is it just gonna be the big boys all night long? Like, do we just deal with it? Man, homeboy came rushing up. Yar, matey. Qua. Yeah. I feel like we smoked that dude. Overall, right? Seemed like we smoked that guy, no problem. How about this guy? Give him a go. I don't think they come together, right? Because they're not the same. Yeah. If the mobs you're fighting aren't like the same class, they won't they won't come together. A little tip for y'all out there for your for any of your pulling strategies, playing Hardcore Warcraft. So if there's like three wolves and you pull one in there in aggro range, they're all coming. But if you have like a wolf and a boar, and you go for the wolf, the boar's not coming. So, unless you face pull them, obviously, but... Anyone for more Ladim or Latum? <clears throat> Yep, 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 yep. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate you spending some of your Sunday night with us. Were you rewatch Lord's Death? And darn, those trolls are aggroing from so far away. I know, man, those casters were just... It was pretty ridiculous. Now, I, I had somebody mention to me that... Um, it didn't look like he used the pot at all. I don't know if you caught that in there. But I, I couldn't tell. I mean, honestly, I watched it back once when I made the clip and that was it. I couldn't... I haven't even found it in myself to, like, re-clip it up. Like, to do the short clips. To make the shorts. So I'll definitely do that. I just... It hurt a lot. <laughs> it hurt a lot when he died, man. That was tough, like... I've had a lot of deaths that hurt. That was that had to be a top one of my own, you know. So, but you know, at the same time, at the same time, if you if you analyze it, did he ever shift out of cat form? Did he ever try using any of the three druid heals that he has? Right? I don't know. I don't think so. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, stuff happens so fast that you just, you don't even think about it, but you gotta watch your own health bar, right? So, and I forget, I 100% I 100% forget to watch mine at times, but what was my highest level death? That's a good question. Somewhere in the 20s. <laughs> Somewhere in the 20s, man. Maybe my 22 Shaman was my highest level one. Yeah, that's why this character right here is so special. She is special. In my mind, I want to say probably 24. 
but I can't think of what character it would have been 24 that died. So, yeah, I haven't had a lot of high level deaths. I mean, I know for Lore that was his highest level one. I'm not planning on having any more, any more deaths. <laughs> I'm excited to get back to playing that shaman. I want to do that. We have a level 26 um, hardcore shaman. Not southbound, but I have a level 26 shaman. Maybe we go to that one after this? I don't know. So, like, try to plan it all out. I'm just more, I'm just going to go with the flow, man. I'm going to go with the flow. I think it's it's more exciting for me right now to continue to play this character because this is the closest to 60 I've ever been and we're in zones that obviously I've played a lot in but not in hardcore right not in hardcore so. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this do the big hammer boy there we go I don't even know what's going on at work this week. I haven't looked at the schedule. Hey, my 24-7 on call's off, though. That was nice last night. <clears throat> and I will say for the first time in, I don't know how many on calls in a row that I've had, I, I wasn't that busy. It wasn't that busy, so <clears throat> that was kind of nice. Still, you have to always be ready. Oh, that was a level 36 that just died by Nara. I don't even, never even heard of that. Nar Illisans? Nar Illisans. I don't know what that is. Saying it's a dragon. Hmm. This right here. Nar Illisans. Huh. That is not ringing a bell with me at all. That's a bummer, though, man. That's a bummer. It's a nice little grind. It's a nice little grind. I think we're either gonna go grind on the shamans or the or the yetis next. I think maybe we're gonna go do the shamans, warlocks, and brutes. I don't know, man. That's two casters in there. Flipping casters, man. I know I'm fighting casters here, but it's a little different. Oops, did not want to do that. Excuse me. Yeah, man. Slow, easy grind, people. Slow, easy grind. Paladin auto attack. That's what we're doing. Hmm. All right. We need one more water elemental core and three more residues from the big giants. The thing about it, though, is with these sea elementals, we can get more cores. So, I don't know if we'll get them right away once the quest is done, or we have to go pick up the quest again. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, like all the curtain rods and all that, the special extension cards, we didn't do none of that, man. None of that happened. him. It'd be nice to get them both done together. I should just ate some regular food. Now we're running, running low on the vittles. of 49 does it matter I don't think it does this is your Sunday night session your Sunday night hardcore session with epic vision. Yeah, man, slow grind. Slow grind. This was a good grind last night. I'm 100% good with it. Let's go ahead and go a 2, then a 6. Killed him already. That's a 47. That's a 48. Let's take Mr. 47 here. I should have got full mana. I screwed up. And full life. We gotta pay attention here. All right, water elemental cores have all been obtained. We need one more miniature. Miniature, miniaturization, miniaturization residue. giant. almost wonder if we would be better off just running back north. There's one right here. This is the 49er, huh? I guess. We 
got this, right? We got this. That was an immediate parry. Miss. Resist. I told you killing the 49 would be a good idea. Let's go turn these in. Summon the war horsey. Let's go. Thirty-seven. That just biffed it. <clears throat> Split the defenders there. I know. I know. We did. I know. What's up, Fandazzle? Hey, yeah. hey uh, that's how I keep it. Mega Slicer, huh? Not bad, not bad. Hurry back. Glad I could help. Were you? Keep it real. That's a pretty good hat. Glad I could let's, help. let's see how that hat compares with 10 intellect, 10 stamina. 9 stamina, 14 intellect, 8 spirit. This is the way to go. 100% globe of water we're selling it we're selling all of it oh look at this guy he's an engineer extraordinaire be good so we could we could do more like we could do this again hurry back if we wanted to this time I only need six of those. That's weird that it's... There it is, six. Alright, so, should we go kill some, uh... Let's go kill some other things and see how it feels. Now we still got all the pirates to kill in Teneris. We gotta go over there and do all that. Now that can be dangerous in there. It's the story of everything. Everything's dangerous. Climbing this bridge right here is dangerous. <clears throat> Freedom for all creatures. The wood pot. The gnolls. I don't know, man. I mean, should we go try to find them over here? The thing about the thing about this, trying to find this courier dude, is eventually it takes us into like the by the insects. And man, I don't know about any of that. There's brutes over here. What are is there brutes in here? Yeah. Wards over here. I don't want to mess around up there. Yetis are ogres, huh? Yetis are ogres. What are you guys feeling? No, the yetis are dangerous. Sort of the. I'm kind of feeling the yetis over the. Let's go do the ogres first. It says it's lower level, so let's just see if it is. Yeah. Now, now there's apes everywhere. Remember when we came over here to do this? We couldn't find a single ape. We were just killing bears. You guys remember that? I'm just straight up killing bears. What's going on, Eric? How you doing, man? Welcome to the chat, baby. 
Hope your weekend's been good. I hope your Sunday's been good. Thanks for hanging out with your boy. Oh, there's somebody over here killing stuff. Warrior by the looks of it, huh? Oh, she's gone. A level 60 has been killed, folks. Mac gone bald. I wonder I wonder what they're farming here. Does it pay to use the shadow resistance aura? Okay, that's 285. Let's try let's try the shadow resistance aura. been good leveled some more and wow awesome man awesome we don't need maulers I mean do we kill them anyway though because they're here like hmm that's Eric you've been playing sod right or I think that's what you were playing season of discovery sorry if I'm mixing it up You're you're gearing up to do dead mines, I thought. Last time we had talked. <laughs> oh, another mage died doing their mage quest, man. That's the worst. Exhibit just died to a tunnel rat forager. Yeah, that's the one that right there that just died to the Krabby Apple. These dudes feel easier, right? Which is nice. All the warlocks came back. Shaman are probably deep in here though, huh? Gotta go deep into the mines of Menolta. Picture this. Alright, we wanna see if this uh, shadow resistance aura is any good. Yeah, it helped. Definitely helped, because it was 285 before, right? Hmm. 216, yeah. It's a big difference. 244. Need some shadow resistance pots. Looking for one more Uldaman tanker heels. Definitely could heal Uldaman, no problem. He was trying to shrink me. Did you see that? He was casting shrink. He was he was gonna shrink a man. 
Or maybe he was gonna analyze my analyze my brain to see if epic insanity is really crazy, right? We'll see a shrink. But um bumps. Yes, I'm here all night, folks, or at least for a little while longer. <laughs> <coughs> Epic, you so crazy. Every time I think of a psychologist or a psychiatrist, I can't help but think of the Sopranos, man. That's immediately where my mind goes, like... <clears throat> I never watched the Sopranos when I can't... When it, um... When all the hype was around it, right? Like when it was out and people couldn't wait to watch it again. And <clears throat> Mrs. Epic Vision and I did. We didn't watch it till the pandemic. And I was glad that we waited because it ended up becoming, you know, 4K widescreen versus how it was shot 4x3, right? So. And we took our time watching it. I think we might have only done like an episode or two a night versus like just trying to crush through it. There's something to be said about uh, watching television shows, especially older television shows. You know, you, you wait. You wait once a week to watch it, right? And then you only get actually 10 episodes. Then you gotta wait a whole season when it was like just legitimately a season, right? Not like waiting two years in between. You know, and you got all that anticipation building, like you can't wait to get back into it. Or because there's so much time in between, you'll rewatch the season in anticipation for the next season coming out, right? Hmm. Now with streaming and all that, everything drops all at once. For the most part. Then you just power through it in a weekend and you're like, oh, we're done. Yeah, it's. Holy crap. That dude really did clear this area out before. Yeah, well, let's go see if we can find some warlocks, I guess. Or, uh, some shamans. Must be deeper in here. Yeah. Gotta go a little bit deeper. A little bit further. There's a lock. Why don't I just kill it? Hit him with the hodge right away. You. Probably. Looking for a Feralis summon. Yeah, that would have been nice. What am I missing up here, huh? My weapon. In this. Mm. Sorry for the late response, but yeah, you're going through sod. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Hope you're having fun playing. It's the most important thing, man. Having fun. Alright. Go find some warlock boys. I'm sorry, shamans. We need shammy shams. There's a lot of bears over here. Iron fur bears. Got a mauler screecher. Is this dude is a warlord. It's too far away. Doesn't sound good to me. 
Oh, it dismounted me. Did you see that? It dismounted me. I didn't do that. So that's the warlock trick, or the the shaman's trick. Golly, Tim Warlock. Oh, they both come. Uh oh, here they both come too. All right, let's get let's. a bad situation. Big heal. There's no way I'm dying here. <clears throat> he heals the warlock. Are you kidding me? Sketch at all, was it? For sure, I mean, what's the point of getting to the end game if the hours it takes to get there is boring? Yeah, man, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. <clears throat> To me, Classic Warcraft is really about the journey. It really is about the journey. Alright, so we made it through that. And I played that really badly. We still made it. Got a one minute cooldown on the pot, so if something pops off this time, it's either bubble or lay on a hands. I feel like we got it. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Hey, thanks for being here, hanging out with your boy. Hey, if you are watching on YouTube and you haven't hit that thumbs up, that like button, man, I would appreciate that very much. Give your boy that thumbs up. Show me some love. That's why the you at least retail seems bad with the huge focus on endgame. Yeah, it's always it's always been kind of like, you know, a rush to level cap and then let's raid, right? And that's what some people live for. They live to get in those raids and to clear those raids. These guys are all mage lords, they're two headed. And this dude's a battle master. Excuse me. Master. I just wonder if we're gonna get that Z access. I don't want to fight that dude. You see what they're all about? I mean, why don't I have a choice? Can we mount? Oh, can't mount here. That's the disadvantage of being here. Is there's no getting away quickly. This dude down here doing his thing again. Farming two mobs at once. Yeah, that's on him, man. 
think if he wants to farm two at once, more power to him. Our last warlock right here. I guess I didn't notice that the warlocks had two heads too. I yeah, appreciate those YouTube likes, thank you very much. Alright, warlock boys are done. Now we need some shammy shams. Yeah, I know we came through here initially. Is like the enforcers that we were fighting last night right there are just blasting us with the axe in each hand. Getting at us. Overall, not too bad, huh? Not too bad. There's going to be some shamans in here. I don't see a single shaman, do you? Battle master, battle master. Mage lord. Let's see what these things do. Fireball chuckers. They're fireball chuckers, folks. We hate fireball chuckers. <clears throat> Got any other tricks? Mr. Mage lord. I wield the light, homie. Mauler. There should be a shaman here, I don't see it. Let's see if they came back over here. It's a brute. Shaman are inside. I guess we take them out. Ba -da 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 -da. Smoke that dude. There's a shaman. Two shamans. Yay! No, we just want to fight one though at a time because they heal themselves, right? So that's the thing with the shaman is they heal. We for sure don't want that happening. We only got the one interrupt. We only got the one hodge. It's on a one minute cooldown. That's all we got. So fighting two of those guys seems not like a good idea. Should be pretty good right here, right? Did his little lightning shield jabber. Oh, I didn't get it off. It failed. Oh, because his heal, his heal got him past whatever this thing can do. 20% less health. So I couldn't use it. 
He healed himself up over 20% before I could cast that. Interesting. Interesting. I was trying to get it off beforehand. That's cool. Okay. We looked over there, there were no shaman over there, right? We looked that we checked that out already. Rage Lord. two-on-one situation, I feel it. <clears throat> that guy hasn't come yet. Why not, um... drink in the presence of my enemies, right? Yeah, he'll sit sipping on the blue bar, I'll sip on my Red Bull and Guava. Shaman right there. Alright. And there, there were a ton of brutes on the way out, so hmm, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, that one didn't even try to heal. Tiny she is compared to that thing, man. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Like I come up to his knee. Suppose <laughs> hmm. we should drink a little more. A little more drinky drink. <clears throat> Yeah, you like that? I was ready to do the hotkey action that time. I sure did. I hotkeyed it. <clears throat> oh, here's Homeboy again, doing two on one situation.
do that. <clears throat> Two brutes are gone, we're done with this one, we can go turn this in. Maybe we go kill some yetis first. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're in a 1v2 situation against a warlock and a brute. We're gonna go ahead and drop another Consecrate, we're gonna make sure our King stays up. He's dropping a Shrink, we're gonna stun that. Alright, now I think we're gonna be just fine right here. I think we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, yeah, that felt bad for a second there, it sure did. We got this under control. Look how much slower she swings without the uh, uh, Seal of the Crusader. All right, we are done. Should we go visit the Yeti boys? The Yeti boys are right over here. Over, under, around, and through. I think this is where JR said he lost his hunter. Messing with these guys. We're in the high wilderness versus the low wilderness. Bears and screechers and lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Hmm. It's too far away. All right, Barrel Scar Yetis. They're level 43. They're green boys. There's a lot of them, though. I need to get closer. I can't let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'd love to fill up this experience bar tonight. I would love it. I would love nothing more, actually, than to <clears throat> not jinx it. All right, so what do we need here? Thick Yeti hide. And your boy's a skinner. Yeah, her profession is skinning. So do we get extra hide from skinning him? Maybe, possibly heavy leather. We'll take it. Quack. Smoking these fools, man. Smoking them. Can't get cocky, though. Cannot get cocky. It does feel nice, though. There's a few sets of yetis you have to kill. You turn this in and then they want you to go fight harder ones. I'm not sure if it's the same with the ogres too. Something tells me you have to fight more of those ogres, but could be wrong on that. This guy's hanging out all by himself down here. Anybody out there got a kick account? Anybody out there do anything on kick? I'm at 59 followers on kick. If somebody out there has a kick account and hasn't followed me on kick and wants to be my 60th kick follower, that'd be pretty cool. Da, da, da. We're sitting at 88 followers on Twitch, which is awesome. And I think 226 or 227 on YouTube. streaming for about a year now and 100% uh, full natty growth ladies and gentlemen you guys find me you like me 
and uh, you've been sticking around, so man, many thanks. I appreciate it. It gives you that extra oomph, you know, when you get online and you start playing the game that you love, and then, you know, chat's popping off, people are uh, sharing their experiences, asking questions. Makes it fun. And that's what we're all about here. 100% for the love of the game, and we gotta have fun. Alright, symbolic pauldrons, what are these about? Hmm. 11 stamina, 5 spirit, versus 9 strength, 8 spirit. A little more armor. What's the drip on them look like? They don't look bad. But I'm trading 9 strength for stamina, and I just made that trade on the belt. Hmm. We went. We traded. So I'll, I'll, I'll hang on to these. And I get it, stamina is 100% king, right? Stamina is king. Just don't know if I want to give up any more strength right at this point. Hmm. Hammer of Wrath. I can skin that guy back there. You do get thick yeti hide from skinning him. Alright. I'm, I'm trying not to go in this cave. So I'm, I'm trying not to go into the cave, but it's like, it's calling me. It's calling me. Look at this, the light of a loon shining down. La 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 la! It's gotta be for something, right? It's not just aesthetics. I have no desire to go in that cave. Almost done, we only need two more of these. Go in there. I don't have any desire. Give me your thick yeti hide, baby. Give it to me. Ooh, that missed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have acquired all of our thick yeti hide. We're done. Let's go turn on our questy boys, huh? Roads right up here. We gotta take that ridiculous boat all the way around the island just to give us the three hour tour. Yeah. I could just run down there, but there's actually a path that takes us down. Oh, the boat just got there. Will we make it? Will we make it? <clears throat> I hope we make it. Come on, Epic Light. Let's go. Giddy up, yip ki -yay. We made it. We made it. 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh no. A level 38 just died. <clears throat> So what do we got here? We're at 61%. I'm sure we're not getting 20% for each of these. We could... We could risk it for the biscuit and go see Lord... Sh Shalzaryu. Zar... Zaryu. It's almost like Zaryu, actually. Shalzaryu. Excuse me. I don't know though. Almost rather go take my chances against the gnolls in some ways. Do 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 da 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 da. So if you watch what's happening here, let pull up the map. See, we left here, and instead of just going from here to here. Right? Instead of just going from here to here, we're going all the way around. You know why? Because they want to show us this over here. Right? They want us to come over here. That's where we got to come. For that Lord uh, Shalz Shalzar, what's his name? Lord Shalzaryu <laughs> is in there in a cave. A cave filled with Naga. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, sometimes you just say no. Right? Like, any of these ones are like they're, that are going to have us go into any of these insect swarms, you know, like the pawn captures queen or whatever, that long chain from Tanaris and Tangoro, we ain't doing none of that. <laughs> I don't think we are, man. No, I ain't going into any holes with bugs. Uh-uh. Not even with somebody else. That warrior said he was farming out there. I don't, I don't know. Was he just like grinding on mobs to level maybe? I was wondering. I could have asked him I guess. What just happened here? My uh... The thermos that... My weather station, Delio. There you go, came back. Hmm. You guys ever hear heard of the company Eve? They make Apple HomeKit stuff, Eve. They're actually a German company. Their stuff's very expensive. And it's always really highly rated, right? But you know what my experience has been with them? You need something? It's just been okay. It hasn't really been any better or worse than anything else for the, the price. And in fact, in fact, I used them for my um, for my hoses. You know, where the side of your house, the, the hose thing comes out, the water bib. You s screw it on there, and then you can, like, turn your hose on or off with your phone. <coughs> and it monitors water flow and all that. Man, those things are pieces of junk. No. What sucked about them is you could you'd screw them on, but they were plastic, and they only had, like, one groove. And they would strip right away, then they would leak. And they were costly. So they came out with a 2.0 version that was all metal. But it was too late. It was too late. Now look at this. Look at these. 10 strength, 9 agility. Is that better than 11 strength, 3 agility? I think it is. It's less armor though, but... What about these boots? Let's get the boots and sell them. They're worth more. Have a good one. Improved quality. Yeah, go kill some more powerful ones. Oh, look at this chest piece. 15 stamina versus 4. 7 agility, 6 intellect. So that's 13. That's 13 and 15 versus 15 and 4. It's way less armor, though. See you around. I supply only the finest goods. This guy sells recipes if you're a leather worker. I do recall correctly. Oh, 
a lot of mage weave. Make 18 more of these. I wonder what level we have to be to before we can make heavy mage weave. No, no, no. I said 18. One, eight, three, eight. <clears throat> Old Merc guy got a level 17. He got Merc. <laughs> Merc right in the eyeball. Somebody said, oh my goodness. <clears throat> Heavy Mage Weave bandages is at what? Was it, was it at 250? Was it at 260? At some point in Classic, you can make rune cloth ones, right? But I think heavy rune cloth aren't till Burning Crusade. You carry it over the rune cloth into Burning Crusade. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Probably get rid of these necklaces. <clears throat> Have a good one. Yeah. Alright, let's go turn in this crusty boy back here. To uh, An Angelus Angelus Moonbreeze, what was her name? Angelas Angelas Moonbreeze. A boom 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 boom. Peace be with you. That's it, huh? That's it for the ogres? So they want us to go kill higher level yetis. Rage scar yetis. Which are up in here. We could go check out this courier deal. Freedom for all creatures, I think that's hard. could come down here and try this, I guess. I don't know how I feel about it. <clears throat> Looking for one more Uldaman healer than good to go. Oh, your boy, I don't have enough time. for the offer, but I'll be logging soon. Thanks for the offer. But, uh, but I got to log soon. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. I mean, I could. It's really the pr ideal situation. What level is this guy? A level 50. But he's from the he's from the guild's damage. <clears throat> and there's warnings about the guild damage. That they're the worst guild. I don't know. I've run with a couple people in damage. It's been okay for me. I'm not sure. Little York peppermint patty. Huh. 
that Hunter's name is? I blame Hunter. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Well. Could zap these dudes again. Hmm. Pretty a zapper though. Got the best deals anywhere. Hurry back. Glad I don't I have a zapper. Hmm. Yeah, what do you want? Be good. Keep it real. Go. Should we do this a little more? You guys mind? Grind on these guys? Two people that just died there. Hmm, excuse me. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, my kick viewers? Hey, if anybody out there that's watching on kick has not hit that follow button, Go ahead and follow your boy out on kick, man. You could be my 60th kick follower tonight. Hmm. I normally never ask for stuff like that, but it's sitting at 59. And it'd be cool to see 60. So that'd be awesome. Your boy's live on kick, on Twitch, and on YouTube. We're live on all three platforms. Bring in the Paladin auto attack heat. <laughs> That's what we're doing, man. We're grinding World of Warcraft Classic. Hardcore, that's right. Hardcore. <clears throat> Do -do -do. Let's go ahead and hit the number four. Get ready to do a number two. Followed by a number six. Some big life here, huh? How about some big life? Controls life over number two. Man, how, these guys are all high lo like. I don't remember them being like this. We were just here. Those are show how bad my memory is. That guy made a fart bubble. Did you see that? Did he literally make a fart bubble and it came out and he popped it? Dream marker that. 143. This guy's making bubbles over here. Bubbles over here that is popping.
Lots of deaths again tonight. Lots of them. Mm, hate to see it. Doing pretty good today with this allergy thing. But tonight it's like, it's sneaking back in. Alright. I pull the big dude. Away from the elemental. What a difference between a 49 and a 48. 48's just melt. <laughs> Was busy before everyone's in bed and you moved to the living room and you just ordered wing stop. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> get your wing stop, bro. Little late night snacky boy. Sounds good to me. We killed yetis, we killed the ogres, <clears throat> ogres, killed these water elementals and giants yesterday and at the start of today and now we're back to killing them. We're just, just going to do this quest again, since they're repeatable. Just a little grind. <clears throat> we could go kill, we could go kill more, um, some more yetis. A level 54 just died in the fell. Deadwood Avenger. That's a that sucks. Hey, slowly but surely we're gonna be moving our way that direction though. Out to Fellwood. Winter Spring. Hmm. I like doing those zones. The Alliance White Path location in Fellwood is horrible. But it's good question out there. Well, what in Winter Spring, man? Like, <clears throat> I grinded Winter Spring. Try to get that Frost Saver reputation. I've gotten two, three, four experience bars at a time out there doing that, trying to get that. Hmm. Grinding on the Chimeras, right? I think there's three things you kill, or maybe it's two. The cats that are there, the Frost Saber cats. Okay, okay. Does this do 48?
Sophomore Ray has reached level 60. Sophomore, uh, sophomora. Way to go, way to go. I'm telling you, when I hit level 60, we're going to have some kind of uh, celebration. What exactly? I don't know, but I'm going to celebrate somehow. Normally, what we've been doing for like celebratory meals is we'll do um, Texas Roadhouse carry out. It's too hard with the little kids to go inside. Their carry out is straight legit. It's been money every time. That's still so we'll see. In some ways this isn't a really good grind because you don't they don't drop nothing really. Enchanted water. That freaks me out. Seems like you got a good path to grind to 60, no risks, even if it's slower. I think so. I think so, right? <laughs> so... I think from here we go back to Tenaris, right? We finish up Tenaris. Okay? There's a, there's a few good grinds over here. Oh, and then on Goro Crater, I didn't even talk about on Goro Crater. We definitely will do on Goro now. Someone in chat was just telling me that they got stomped to death in on Girl Crater. Alright, this is a bad situation. This we're running. Uh, bubble. Play on our hands. Come on. Oh my goodness, out of the fire into the frying pan. <laughs> okay. Did I do the wrong bubble here? Yeah, I picked the stupid one. This blessing of protection one is dumb. I I, I should have clicked either one of these two. Because <clears throat> this is only from physical attacks. This is the one. Divine shield is the one you want. <clears throat> I don't know what made me click this. The hammer. Gotta click the hammer. When parties and dungeons always introduce risk. <laughs> Chatting with syntax introduces risk. Yeah, we're good. But our land of hands is gone. No, I don't need that. Why do I want to do that? This is my food buff. Ooh. <clears throat> little spicy.
This knockback is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think I was gonna be able to fight two of those guys, right? I had to run. That 100% was a run angle. If I would have used the right bubble, I wouldn't have had to use my lay on of hands. That was kind of a waste. Hmm. Even if I bubble and lay on a hands, I still have my Light of a Loon up here, right? I still have my Light of a Loon, so... If anybody ever has a hard time trying to decide, do I go Horde or do I go Alliance for Hardcore? The Light of a Loon could be a, a factor because you can only get this item, which grants immunity from all damage, 10 seconds on the Alliance side. It's an Alliance quest. It's legitimately a Paladin bubble. It's actually better in some ways because you can still fight. Like this reduces your fight time. Your Divine Shield. What's the easiest chat for me to read? Ah, uh, Twitch chat, YouTube chat. Either of those are good. I mean, in-game chat's the easiest by far, but uh, YouTube or Twitch is good. Kick's a little harder for me to read. Hammer Wrath coming in. There we go. I literally got nothing for that one. Looking for healer to go to Zulfarak. Ooh, now that's tempting, but your boy is running out of time. 100% running out of time here. Excuse me. Do you have a time limit cut off tonight, or are you just going until you fall asleep? <clears throat> well, 10 o'clock is kind of my limit here, but... I 
Just really chilling, man. Oh, I'd love to ding, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. And I still gotta take Milton out. So to answer your question, my 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 heart's off cut off is 10 o'clock, but we might go longer. I'd love to get these quests done. good. Do need more stuff to drink. 10-4 here about to eat dinner. Might not chat again depending on what you do. If you're here you'll chat again. That's cool man. Enjoy that wing stop bro. Enjoy it. <clears throat> Alright we're 6 of 10 on this residue. It'd be great to get another one right now. Why are people doing this meow in chat? See this meow? Meow? Like, what does that mean? Anything? I don't know. Why don't you ask chat? Yeah, I should. got one. Do, 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 do. Grind alive. Hopefully, hopefully. Give me that residue. Thank you. 
They're tough, man. They are tough. Oh, he died to Lieutenant Fangor. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, he died to Fengor, it said. chat everybody thanks for hanging out happy sunday night it's about to be 10 o'clock where i am here it's your boys uh your boys cut off time normally we're gonna get these two quests done at least that's the plan i'd love to be able to fish out of that but i can't gotta level fishing we gotta do it Skills to pay the bills, my fishing is pathetic at 100. I'm guessing. We zoom out here. For Alice fishing, you gotta be 205. Cast my hammer on wrath. We need more mana. Time is ticking away, folks. Tick, 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 tick. to zero. There's a 49. <clears throat> Melanos got another one. All right, four or six on the cores. These sea sprays are the hard ones. Big knock knockback. See that right there? Well, at least he's taking. Oh, he was taking damage with the consecrate. Hmm. It's just frostbolt over and over and over again. I'll see Swashbuckler at 45. Those are what's over in uh, in Tenaris, right? Those, those are the pirates. Those are the pirates, man. Damn. We got those on deck. But we'll tackle those this week, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. 
All right, we need one more water elemental core and two more residues. Sea elemental, sea elemental seem to be okay. I want to fight that spray dude though. There's my Strider boy out there. McGroy out here, huh? There he is. Let's get a little zap action on him. Oh, he's at level 49, too. Warmir. Barlmir fell to their death in the Wellspring River. They were level 10. Oof. Give me your residue. Bro. Tank for hire has been slain by an ancient stone keeper in Uldaman. <clears throat> would, th would that have been the group I was in? Hmm. Would that have been the group I was in? Huh? The tank just went. Usually if the tank goes... Oh, here comes another death. Comes another Uldaman death. There it is. There's probably the heels. Yeah, they were looking. I remember seeing Swiss Army Alt. Oof, man. Oof, that would have been my group, maybe. That would have been my group, maybe. Oh, here comes the next one. Here comes three of five. Here it comes, folks. It's going to be a full Uldaman wipe. There it is. There it is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. Wow, man. Wow. Now, if your boy was the healer, would they have died? Who knows? Could have just been a bad pull, right? I mean, it could have been anything. Oh, but that sucks, man. That sucks. That sucks. Swiss Army Alt was such a good druid name, too. They still got the name. They didn't lose the name. Hmm. Little Lucifer, the Night Elf Warrior, got killed by a lightsaber stalker. Nah. So, and what we just saw... Alright, so this guy's saying that that tank just tanked Zulfarak an hour ago and was totally fine. A great deal on elixir of superior defense might have stopped this wipe from happening. Get out of here, man. We saw a 46, a 45, and a 44 all die in Uldaman. <clears throat> Alright, we, what do we get for this? We don't get any XP for that? Oh, 550, that's all? Only 550 XP for that. Definitely not worth.
definitely not worth. Ah, oh, we're inching ever so closely to 74. Comes the boat. <clears throat> Make that a clip. Everyone died after Syntax says parties are risky. <laughs> yeah, man. They are. Another group. Were you doing the boss cheese? <clears throat> Hey, when we ran Uldaman, we did cheese the last boss. What does that mean? So that means that last boss, you go down into the bottom room, okay? And as the boss gets down to certain levels, he summons the adds that are around him. So you can pull the boss all the way up into the room previously where you fought the other two bosses. That way the adds have to run, right? So it buys you time. Hmm. In the group that I healed, which was one of the most stressful things I ever did, those guys were straight up giga chads. Everybody had dual fiery weapons going, and the rogue was straight one-shotting the adds. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, that was a good run, though. That was a good run. I had fun doing that. Did I just miss an Ulda wipe? Yeah, man. Yep, you did. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> On Goral Soil, Badlands, Feralis, Teneris, <clears throat> Interlands, Altar of Zul. I don't know, I should probably just get rid of that one. <laughs> I think, I think Teneris is next. I think we go, I think we go grind on pirates. It gets dangerous in there though, man. Grinding on those pirates, it gets dangerous. Alright, so they're saying a, the group that wiped an alderman apparently it was the healer's fault who aggroed, but there was a DPS that went unresponsive. Mm, blaming the healer. This one says that the healer got caught up in the whirlwind thing. Sounds like healer got CC'd in whirlwind thing. Was not the healer's fault. Tank accidentally pulled too much. Alright, alright, the tea's spilling. Wasn't a premium group, I guess. Wow, man. Wow. I'm actually receiving updated info from Swiss in a DM format. Please stand by. <clears throat> it's the healer's fault for not having mana for the pull? Okay, here's Swiss Army all right here. Yeah, my first time in Ulda in 12 years. I was standing back healing before I knew it. I was on my back stunned. Oh, so you're too close. You're too close. If the healers get knocked down, you're too close to those guys. <clears throat> There's a specific way to do pulls in that room as to not pull the boss plus the mob. As sometimes the mob is super spread out. Yeah, that's true. Well, you can't actually pull the boss. Because you gotta activate, you gotta, three or four people gotta click on that center thing. I think you need three people to click on the center thing to summon the boss. Hmm. Not 100% sure on that one. Go again. I've updated info. Apparently the tank overpulled and there was an unresponsive healer or CC unconfirmed. Then another DPS ran out when the pull happened. I don't know, I mean we heard directly from the healer what happened. <clears throat> ah well. Well everybody, that's gonna be it for me. We we are in an overtime session with Epic. We went about fifteen minutes later than I normally would like to on a work night. Maybe that's not the right way to say it. I would love to just stay on and keep grinding and grinding and grinding. But your boy's got to get up at 4 a.m. That's less than six hours. At this rate, I'm not going to be in bed till 10.30. That's five and a half hours, and that's if I fall asleep right at 10.30 on the dot. So you guys do the math. <clears throat> Appreciate everybody hanging out. Thank you, Syntax. Thank you, thank you, Eric, JR, everybody else who's been lurking, man.
good looking out tonight. <clears throat> like I always say, be good, be kind, and remember to have fun. Have a great evening. Have a great um, start to your week, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.